Did you hear? There are prisoners on the loose. Put everyone on patrol! Hunt them down! <coughs> Damn, you were right. Even the inspectors have heard about us. What do we do now? Alter our plans. There's no other choice. We can't stow away on their ship now. We'll make other arrangements. Other arrangements? Uh, do you see another boat out here? <clears throat> there they are! Seize them! They found us! Professor, we've got company. That was inevitable. We have to prevent this from causing further commotion. Out of my way. Now then. <laughs> I need a plan. Pierce the wings of frost. To find somewhere to hide. They'll run us down too quickly out here. There's a shack just there. Let's go. What's the plan, Professor? They're bound to catch us. We can't use the inspector's ship as we planned. We'll need something else. Hmm. If you have any bright ideas, do share them. Quickly! I'm freezing my rocks off here. <laughs> what did you just say? What? That I'm freezing my rocks off? That's it? You're a fantastic assistant, Emerald. Well, my freezing rocks are gonna save us? No. The straw over there is. What could you possibly do with a bit of straw? If we have no ship, then we will make our own. Surely you're joking. Crossing the ocean on a boat of straw? Do you think us otters? Nay, we are human and have the intellect to prove it. Storm of ice, arise. I give you our ice boat. A foundation of buoyant straw beneath a thick sheet of ice. Wh what? 
you made a boat! I can hardly believe my eyes. <laughs> this might actually work. Well, it's more of a dinghy than a boat, but you know. I once heard of a town blanketed in snow and divided by a river. The people there laid batches of straw down in the river and splashed water atop them until an icy bridge formed. <laughs> Entire horse-drawn carriages crossed over the ice bridges without incident. And I wouldn't have recalled it if not for you. Yes. Yes, that should prove seaworthy. And there's no chance of the boat melting in this cold. Surprisingly sturdy. Of course it is. Do not doubt my ice magic. Give him a season. The current should carry us to the mainland. Okay. But one thing still worries me. They'll continue their pursuit, even if we manage to reach the mainland. Yeah, they will. My initial plan... I hope to sink the inspector's vessel before we reached shore. <laughs> it was to look like an accident, and ensure we were presumed dead. Clearly, we won't have that luxury now. I've been meaning to ask you something, Professor. Go on. What's that? You were brought in for killing your wife and child. Did you do it? That doesn't concern you. I've been on Frigid Isle a long time. I've met more prisoners than I care to remember. Right. But you... You're not like the rest of them. No. There's something different about you. Stop, Professor. What? I said stop. I can't do this. I can't go with you. Okay. A boat of ice? Is this some sick joke? It's four days' journey to the mainland, if we're lucky. We'll likely freeze to death by then. You can take your chances aboard this frozen dinghy, but I... I will be commandeering the inspector's ship. Well, then you'll probably die in the process. That won't be easy with everyone out there looking for you. They'll deploy fleets from Frigid and the mainland, trapping you at sea. You've a better chance of crossing safely on something small like this. That's right. <laughs> well, I won't know that until I try, will I? <laughs> Do what you will. 
So long, Oswald. I won't mourn him. This was always, shall we say, a friendship of convenience. Yeah, that's fair. No way he's going to be able to get the ship. Unless he's been in on it. If he's in on it, then that's different. <laughs> ah. There he is! Damn! Watch the boat! No! I. Uh... Do it now! I have very little patience! Yeah, I, I don't really think that's gonna work out too well for him. was right. I'll never make it out on this ship. They'll just arrest me again. Only one thing left to do. Take a lifeboat. They made me mine phosphor till I spit blood. So, I might as well put it to good use. <laughs> Farewell, Professor. Well, they won't be coming after you this time, then. <laughs> Only one puzzling fact remained. Emerald. Why did you set fire to the Inspector's ship? His actions drew the attention of the guards, allowing my small boat to escape unnoticed. And not only that, I doubt anyone is chasing me now. Mm. They have no way of knowing that Emerald and I split up. They're likely to assume that I was also aboard the Inspector's sinking ship. Right. Emerald's final act was utterly... <sighs> well, some mysteries never get solved. An emptiness has settled in my breast. Emerald. So I keep rowing, as far as my arms will take me, wherever that may be. What happened to those clothes you got? Welcome home, dear. Rita. You must be exhausted. It wasn't so bad. <laughs> oh, Oswald. How I long to be with you, to ease your pain. To get you looking presentable again. To make you some goulash with Elena. Rita, I... Alas, my dear, I cannot. You have unfinished business. Uh. 
so you cannot stay here. Oh, I see. For it is not yet time. I love you, my dear. Awake. Wait, what? Welcome to the small fishing village of Cape Cold. Oh, I see. <sighs> You're one of the prisoners from Frigid Isle, aren't you? Found you collapsed on the beach, nearly frozen to death. Only the faintest hint of breath in you. In my 30 years looking after this little finger of land, I've seen three prisoners wash up from Frigid. Oh, yeah? But you're the first to do so alive. <laughs> you're a quiet one. Has your mouth frozen shut as well? I need food. Hmm. You're a scholar, are you not? Forgive me, but I could not resist a look through your personal effects. That's, that's fair. I too am a scholar, though not one of any renown, mind. Here, take this robe. It's a damn sight better than your prison rags, eh? I thought you acquired more clothing. Thank you kindly, good man. Come now. This is the least I could do. <coughs> but from here on out, I ask that you lead an honorable life. <sighs> lead an honorable life. That day shall never come. Harvey, you took everything from me. This fire in my breast shall never be extinguished. And you shall die by my hand. I swear it. So, what are you waiting for? Let's go.
Alright, full party again. Between something about his jumpiness. That is rather solemn for a baby and subtle cries. Thank you. Very helpful. Oh, I see it. He has made a talk to the villagers. It's off in the city working hard. You can't help but feel that the kind the old folks should lose with the not real grandparents. Ah. Uh, Mercenary who is fired for being too timid, he roamed the land until he spent every last leaf he had. His name was taken by one of the villagers. Okay. Thank you. Daughter together, though they're not in fact bound to by blood. That was very helpful. Very helpful. Smith and I'm right more aware. It's fishing in the village, thinking about retiring until he's spotted. Maybe floating in by his gift. I take her in. Thank you. Oh, I see. Dance in New Delta, fell deep in love with a local fisherman, and she met her husband. You know, honed. The village made her miss the energy of city life, and her discontent with her new home goes for the day. Thank you. Okay, 
let's see. Watch. Sell the poetry of the soul. No, I, I don't need 95 of them. the Scholar King. So I can do... Flame Bringer, that's... That's for Timonos, Prince of Thieves, that was obviously for Throne A. So the Thunder Blade, that's for Hikari. Grace as a dancer to the traitor. Um. start. You can't go to Psy because then that'll start. Um, so shield chapter 2 is clock bang. Shit chapter 2 is there. Wow, shit chapter 2 really is like, hey, you better. Uh, 
<laughs> you better be at a high level for this. So chapter 3 is where Oshets is. Also, is there anyone that has the scent of commerce? stuff. Much since we potential in the playwright. That was very helpful. Does she hate both of them? That was very helpful. So this is just a spoiled little shit. Is it a super soldier and has been ordered by her employer to safeguard the young lady by any means necessary? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> that was very helpful. Very helpful. Okay. Twenty per 
That was very helpful. Alright. Oh no, assistant. Hi, it's the man. She's too to speak to. All she does is follow him and observe his actions for the same distance. Thank you. <laughs> that was very helpful. Very helpful. <laughs> Which keeps the mouth shut, the boat in your guide spits it at night after night performs actors. Yes. That was very helpful. Thank you. Real spicy jerky, huh? Much appreciated. Your offer is a small tower to run, right? That was very helpful. Let's see what the black snakes are up to. have to head to Clark Bank. I know it could like instantly just like teleport there, but I'd rather not. tempted to just be like, well, I have better stuff than this anyway, so I'm just going to equip it. But I don't really want to just... Good 
care about me. Alright. Bring it on. Here I go. Let's go. Oh, that wasn't my message. I need a That's play. Right. All according to play. Hmm. And done. Nice one, Mr. Oswald. Oh, that's level 32, right? So we're not going this way right now. We will just get fucked. We'll get messed up so bad. That's not something I want. Hunt or be hunted. Hmm. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, I was gonna say right. that's not something we have, but it's something we can do. Yeah, good, you know. Oh, thank you. I'm just getting warmed up.
Much appreciated. Really anything I can do to grab some extra money is fine. My turn. <laughs> These hands. <laughs> I know no cure for you. Thank you, Casty. No idea what that does. Thinking time. <laughs> broken. Nice one, Mr. Oz. Take this! Maybe next time. Alright. Remember, sidestep. Yeah, I'm going to it. I'd help. First. Next time, take it easy.